Praise God. Please be seated. So sad I'm going wrong. So I'm going to You know, there's uh, one thing usually I do at my church before we start the sermon. Um, that we really welcome the Holy Spirit to take over. And this whole year we were doing that every Sunday. And so many people wrote in testimonies. People seeing visions, people encountering God in a, in a fresh way. Because it's all about asking the Holy Spirit to take over our lives. So I want you to close your eyes, come on. And, and I'm, I'm going to pretend I'm preaching to my own church, okay? If you can stretch out your hands to God right now, and just say this, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Change our lives. Touch our hearts. Renew our minds. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, as your word is preached, may it go forth and do what is intended. Let your word not fall to the ground. But cut our heart deep within. To produce spiritual healing. And a fresh passion for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Come on. Okay, um, I'll introduce myself in just one minute. Because I really want to get to the word and ministry. So I'm 44 years old this year. And you know, because we are all Asians, so many times uh, my overseas friends would say, How come I'm so young? You know? and next year is my 20th yeah. <laughs> Next year is my 20th year in full time ministry. And in Singapore, many people don't go into full time so early. And so God, God was good to bring me into the ministry at 24 years old. You, you know, after 20 years, what is it I really see about the church in the world? I see that we are really good at doing programs. And there's nothing wrong with that. Programs has this place where people can still find God. I see that we are very good in Bible study. And again, that's a very good thing. To understand the Bible. I took seven years to really deep dive into the Word of God. You know, we're very good at stage work as well. 
And for you guys here at New Life, you are one of the best in terms of modern churches in Cambodia. In the church I'm from, we have huge television screens. Costing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's exciting, of course, if thousands of people come to the church. One time I preached to 20,000 people in Manila. It was a healing meeting that my church actually organized. But there's, there's a real frustration that I have that I want to share with you. Even though the things that we're doing are really good and helpful. We, we might not be seeing a real true revival in the land. But we might not be seeing a lot of new people come to faith in Jesus Christ. You know, I know that guest speakers are supposed to preach happy sermons. But and don't worry, this is not a sad sermon. This is not a sad sermon. But everywhere I go and speak, I want to charge the people and challenge the people. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really not interested in pleasing you. We have too many pleasing pastors all around the world. They tell you the nicest things so they can keep coming back and tell their church how great they are. Let me ask you one simple question, then we'll get into the word. Do you want to see a revival in Cambodia? You know, this, amen, amen. Yeah. Amen, amen. That, that's the question that me and some pastors in Singapore are talking about. We have, we have Pretty large churches in Singapore. But you want to know when I talk to the pastors, when I ask them, what is really happening inside the church? They, they all agree that the programs are good, but there is no fire. There, there is no passion that causes us to cry out for people to come to Jesus. So today's sermon is Revive Us, O Lord. Today one key verse I want you to see on screen. Can we have it on screen? Uh, Psalms 85 verse 6. Check it out, please. And the psalmist says, Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Notice what happens when revival comes. But Notice what happens when revival comes. When revival comes, we will rejoice. So the first time that you and I were revived was at the point that Jesus saved us, right? So the Bible is clear we are dead in our sin, correct? And then we hear the precious good news of the gospel. 
nếu anh cứ dương đại sa đại dương mà lư nơi bệ bản tu đó là ở bảo bệ cho ông mà cha that Jesus would die for someone so wicked and sinful like you and me bệ cho ông mà cha bây giờ bây giờ Jesus Christ trung sốt sốt mà nu ác ra đôi chi khi ông hay nâng lúc này mong phaon and somehow on that day we believe somehow thay bệ nơi thay đại dương mà chưa bảo ông nu nu We receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Yung the tool from the Jah, from the Jah, from Jesus Christ, from the Jah. We repented of our sin. Yung kai prai chet kumnut pi om per bab robah yung. And place faith in Him. Place faith in Him. But kui dak chum nu robah yung chol te knong pro ang. And we keep doing that. That is the Christian faith. Hey, but yung thua in chang nu ai kui Jesus Christ chum nu robah ne chu pro Jesus hai. Do you remember that season where you first received Jesus? Look, ne mong bon min cham te nu thay dam bong pe. You, you, you feel so lighthearted. You can walk like you're walking on air. You know. Yeah, you know. Every day was joy. I remember that season for me. Every day was joyful. Because the burdens of our sins was taken away. And, and we found the great Messiah to be real in our lives. And then somewhere along the years of, of being a Christian, We can hear about the cross of Jesus Christ. Christ. And feel absolutely nothing. We can hear about going to all the world and preach the gospel. And all we're thinking about is our next meal. And friends, we are all guilty of that to some extent. This is not a condemning sermon. This is supposed to challenge us to something and someone. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about four areas to be revived, okay? Four areas. And then at the end, we're going to do ministry time and see what the Lord does. Okay, so write down notes. The first one, revive our faith in Christ alone. So I grew up in church and I've always heard about Jesus since year one. But I, I did not did not care about who Jesus was until he encountered me or, or, or should I say I encountered him. And any church that is not about Jesus is not a church. Jesus loves the church. Jesus dies for the church. Jesus rose again for the church. Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to the church. We pray in the name of Jesus. We call ourselves Christian. It's all about Jesus. So why is it that many times we forget it's about Him? I mean, we really do forget about Him. I mean, we have to pray in His name and sing songs about Jesus. But the best question I'll ask you and myself is this. Hi, Can we truly say that our life is about Christ? 
if our answer is no, then we have to turn from whatever is holding us and go to Jesus today. In you know, I sit in different pastors meeting in, in uh, Singapore. Every time you see pastors crying on the altar, you want to know what is the main reason? Somewhere along their professional ministry. They forgot that it's all about the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I'd rather be a pastor crying at the altar of God. Him, that then someone who discards the name of Jesus. Look at what Paul the Apostle says, okay? 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2. So he says to the church of Corinth, I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. If you really see what Paul is trying to say, he's literally saying, all I want to know is Jesus. I'm not here to know about the, the history of Corinth. I'm not concerned about the weather. The economy. What you like or do not like. What kind of clothes you wear to church? What kind of clothes you wear to church? Paul is saying, I'm consumed by one single thing. Jesus Christ. You know, you know how I wish I could be a pastor that tells you I am the same as Apostle Paul. I wish I could say that. But that would be a lie. And I don't want to use the pulpit as a place to lie. But isn't it time, church, that we really make Jesus the number one, number one, number one person? Look at Isn't it time we renew our first love for the Lord? Point number two, write this down. Revive our courage to stand for God. If you want to be a true Christian, it's going to be very difficult. To be a casual Christian is very easy. The cost of being a casual Christian is simply this. I come to the church and kind of get involved. But I'm not going to be a true disciple by following Jesus all the way. 
ai khiêm bà chứ mình ai khá lai tì chứ sơ Rồi bọc bọn phút bà cắt nằm bây đá tam bọc bọn Ôh, bình mùi chất mùi bờ cầm nứt bọc nhóm nứt tì I will decide who to love or hate Khiêm ai chứ đưa rước luôn ai thả nạn nà để khiêm thơ sẽ lãnh Nạn nà để khiêm thơ sẽ ọp I will decide who to serve or not serve Khiêm cua ta chứ đưa rước ai chứ đưa rước ta Ta nạn nà khiêm cua ta bầm ra Nạn nà khiêm mình cua bầm ra I love Jesus but I also love the world Kim có sở lãnh bởi dư sư, hãy kim có sở lãnh lúc cây đai. And brothers and sisters, Oh, lúc này bóng phổ này. You need to know that for many years I was a, like that kind of a Christian. Kim chong chim rip lúc này bóng phổ ôn thà. Kim có chim mà nó đôi kia anh chẳng đai, cứ kim sở lãnh bởi dư sư kỳ phó, có sở lãnh lúc cây phong đai. But before you condemn me, what kind of a Christian are you? Muốn bê là dương kích ở bàn ẩn ẩn nó. Đào tạm bảo ông nó, xông dương kết thả Ta lúc này bỏng ôn chia Christian bảo phết nà Let's look at the story, it's amazing, ok? Xông mơ sách ở rương này không bẻ cầm bì đà lọ ơ ơ chà So let me set up the story for 1 Kings 18, very quick Nơi mùi bông sao và đạc sát chùm phúc tích đọc bầm bầy So for 3 years there was a drought in the land of Israel Cứ ơ rì dạ bê bầy xa nam miền cửa rốt tù rồi phất cát làng nơi lưu tức đầy Israel Now, now imagine there's no rain in Cambodia for 3 years, that is crazy Lúc này bông bông xa xa mây mơ Thà bờ nơi khổng bờ tế cầm bờ dìa bờ ọt phá liêng xa ơ rì dạ bê bầy xa nam You know many, how many of us would die if there was no water? Đà, nơi miền mà nó xa lạp bờ mân nè bờ xa nhì ọt miền tức nô And Elijah told King Ahab who was a bad king Chia cà rây Eli, Eli Gia, màn prap, sạch đạch a hạp đầy chứ sạch đạch đầy a khrọc Because of all the evil that you and your wife Jezebel are doing Đại sao ta kết cả khrọc khrọc đầy sạch đạch hay nâng bà phun chắc sạch trầy đầy chứ bà phun bà sạch đạch màn thơ God is gonna withhold the rain from heaven Bà ông bà tụp liêng màn ai bằng ao một lưu tất đầy Israel You know sometimes we go out and it's raining and we are like, ai ai I'm wet, you know but if you could see that water from heaven is like blessings from the Lord. So for three years, no rain came down on Israel. And finally, it was time for Elijah to go back and talk to King Ahab and, and the, the Lord's people. Now you know the story of fire coming from heaven, so I'm not going to talk about it today. But I want you to see how incredible this is going to be. Because many of you would say, Pastor, Elijah challenged the false prophets of Baal. But how And yes, he did. But But did you know that before he challenged the Baal prophets? He challenged God's people first. You know, I'm a Christian for so long that sometimes in the church, sometimes the enemy can be Muslim or, you know, uh, Buddhist or whatever, right? But the real enemy is nothing of those things. The real enemy is loss of passion, loss of love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Check out the verse, please. 1 Kings 18.21 and Elijah came near to all the people and said, Look, Elijah, Joel, the Jit Prachichun, Tiang Mool, Ruit Mien Prasatha. So let's say Pastor Mara is Elijah. But some son of Mata Luku Mara got here, Elijah, Chang the Chang. Straight after this service, he's going to challenge all the false prophets. Hey, I've been 
But just before he does that, he's challenging you. Now you would hope that your pastor would challenge you in a very nice way, right? And this will be a nice way to say it, for instance. Hey, New Life Church! Praise God! We're going to defeat the enemy! We have an incredible God! All of us are faith-conquering men and women. Amen! 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 Trumpet blow up. Then all of us wear, wear T-shirt fire from heaven, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> but instead, Elijah says to the people, how long will you go limping between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, then follow him. And the people did not answer him a word. So you see, people can say, Wow, Elijah is a great man of God. He might be great to us until he challenges us. Pastor Moses is a great man of God. But what happened when he came down from Mount Sinai with the tablets? And he sees the heart of the people worshipping the golden calf. And he sees the Friends, that is church. Whether in Moses' time or Elijah's time, the danger is to worship other things. And do you know what we need in our generation going ahead? We do not need simply more big churches. We need churches full of the Holy Spirit. Full of passion and love for the Lord. Now, now I'm not criticizing big churches. I, I'm a pastor of a very big church. But the Lord was good to help me not to be impressed by crowds that come. The Lord was good to help the Lord not to be impressed by crowds that now, before I go to the third point, just hear this point just a little bit more. Revive our courage to stand for the Lord. Everyone else can dance around the golden calf. You cannot! He preaches so much better than me. <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay, never mind. I lost my thought, okay. <laughs> You know, courage for God is a very lonely road, but it's a very powerful situation. 
I just give you one simple picture. We go to point number three, okay? I just give you one simple picture. We go to point number three, okay? I just give you one simple picture. We go to point conviction comes with sacrifice and also opposition usually to stand for what is right means that there's a lot of Enemies that will come. But But if the church does not stand for what is right, who, who else will? You have the right God that you're worshipping. You are in the right church that is worshipping God. You have many good pastors here in this church. There's a lot of things that God has placed you with. But you say, Pastor, if I stand for what is right, I will lose my friends. It's easier to compromise. We really need some of us to say, Lord, give me the courage of Elijah. He was not thinking about being popular. And friends, we're living in a world right now that right is wrong and wrong is right. Look at Okay, two more points. Point C, write this down. Revive our zeal to win the lost. I just want to ask you one important question. What do you think really happens to people who die without Jesus? You know, 20, 30 years ago, I hear a lot of conversations in church about heaven and hell. And now I don't hear many conversations in church about that at all. Now, I, I don't want to spend time preaching about hell right here. I don't want to do that. But do you actually believe that there is a hell if people do not place their faith in Christ? Which, which means that the majority of people we meet out on the streets, most of them are headed to hell. Now you say, Pastor, I don't want to feel guilty. I'm, I don't want you to feel guilty. I don't want that. Guilt will only change us two weeks. Guilt will only change us two weeks. 
So like I tell my wife, I'm going to lose weight, eat less, you know. After two weeks, I'm eating potato chips again, you know. It's not going to take guilt for us to win the loss. It's going to take compassion, love, and zeal to win them. Are you willing for your friends and your family to go to hell? You say, Pastor, it's not my decision to make. I agree it's not your decision to make. But have we opened our mouths to share Jesus to them? I can prove it that we're not sharing Christ enough. I can prove it. You say, Pastor, prove it then. In the last 20 posts in your Facebook. Did you talk about Jesus? Did you tell people that Jesus is the only way, truth, and the life? I have a lot of Christian friends on my Facebook. And they are so excited to post the, the new restaurant that they ate, you know. Now again, please, I am not talking about guilt, you know. I'm just saying that it's time that we are more interested with souls that are perishing. Friend, if hell is permanent and forever, and those who go to hell have no way of escape, the very least we can do is to tell them the way out of hell. You can't make them decide, but you can give them the information. And we need to do it sooner than later because our friends die suddenly. I'm a pastor of a big church, so every week there are several people that die. Just last week I had three people that I know personally pass away. I'm thankful they are Christian. But what if they were not? So just look at the verse very quick. 1 Corinthians 9, 22, 23. And let's learn from the Apostle Paul who have such a passion for souls. To the weak, I became weak that I might win the weak. I've become all things to all people that by all means I might save some. You know what Paul is saying? 
I'm going to do everything I possibly can to bring people to Jesus. And this is the frustration that not only I have, I believe many Christians have. Sometimes we make the church too much about how we feel and what we want. Let me explain. It's good that we come to church, lift up our hands, worship God, listen to the word, join a group, do ministry, all good. Let's do that. But do you know that in heaven there's one thing we cannot do which is to evangelize? In heaven there's still the word of God and also the word that comes up from the throne room. The word of God will still remain. There's still going to be praise and worship in the house of God in heaven. But there's one function that we will never get to do in heaven. Which is share the gospel to lost souls. That is something we got to do now while there is still time. Now, friend, please understand, I'm not saying this so that new life can be much, much bigger. That's not the heart of it. The heart of it is there are lost souls headed to destruction. And we need to be part of a rescue mission to bring them to Jesus. I have a friend in Singapore that she rescues stray dogs and try to give them to people. Rescue stray dogs. Yeah. And do you know that many people join her for that mission? But dogs don't go to hell. By all means, save some dogs, but save more souls! It's about finding the right kind of balance. Love my family, but love God. Save some dogs. Save the lost. Save the lost souls. And verse 23, I do it all for the sake of the gospel that I might share with them in its blessings. Okay, let's go to the last point. Revive our passion to build each other up. Do you want to know the churches that I, I, I speak with that have started to close down in Singapore? Because of the because of the influence of my church, I'm in many different types of committees in Singapore. So you get to hear about a lot of pain that churches go through. 
ลูกนายมงคลหนึ่งลื้อในเรื่องได้ชื่อจับชรันนะได้กรมจนมต่างอนุบาลฉลองกัด And every church will go through different types of pain. Your church has gone through. My church has gone through. กรมจนมรบลูกนายบาลฉลองกัดจมวยในการชื่อจับจิตรันกรมจนมรบเข้มก็ฉลองกัดในการชื่อจับจิตรัน And some of the churches that are closing down, the main reason is simply this. You want to know the reason? ลูกนายมงคลจองดังแฮทพอลแต่แฮทไอบาลกรมจนมหนึ่งเก็บบัตรเอง There is no unity in the people and the leaders. Admin, group, room, in the Khlong Rong Vong, net dak nom in the Khlong Krom Chon Nom Nula. And I tell you that when unity is cut, everything is gone. Look, net bom pao nai, in the pei dai cao group room, trai ban cut bom plai, away tong ot trai ban bom plai. But unity doesn't just die overnight. It does not. Ka dai group room kriu bi man slap. You know where's the start of the destruction of unity? You want to know? Look, now we're talking about a big car that chop down the car by back here and then chop down the pain. It starts when we stop encouraging one another. It starts down the pain that young chop look to get near the winter mark. I want you to encourage the people around you every single week you come to church. Look, now move on. Yum, look to get look now, my boy. I look to get my look. Not they did. They mock from you. Don't look to get near to wind them up. The churches I'm speaking with, some of the pastors are so upset because they are saying my members don't support me and love me. From you, don't come. Go go go. Oh, da. Put you don't come. At the line, he don't take. At the control, he don't stop. Now I'm not saying the pastor has no fault. Maybe the pastor is at fault. I'm not sure. He don't want to turn and call and turn. He don't want to put the cut. But I'm saying that it's so important we love one another, support one another. Look, net bomb on a chair, la on na da yeng trau sa line khnie hai chui kom trau khnie upatham kom trau khnie tu wing tu mok phong. How many of you believe that new life, God has an incredible plan for new life to go further? Amen. Look, net bomb on a man net da chui tha prai chao ma cha mien kum rong ka da cha sam rap krom jo nom jivat mai. Then we cannot allow this unity to come in. We cannot allow it. Jeng hai, som menteri at nyat, akan baik bak kini akan min dek nong rong bung krom jenom ni. Pray for Pastor Samadi and the entire Pastor team. Pray for them. At the time, the map crew kong will Samadi, neng crew kong will tong ah. Support them. Kom teror kuat as they support you and love you. Dah kuat kom teror luk nak mampu on hai teror lain luk nak mampu on. Just look at this verse and we do ministry, okay? Yang mula nak kong kong pini pertama yang nang ati tanda nak ni. Hebrews ten twenty four. Hey, pray jumpuk ti dap kong mau pay buan. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Tang yang mula thay dah sah kini tu wing tu mok. Dan bayi cuy dah tuan kini amian cet terlain neng propet ampe lo. What happens when a church loses love for people? Mian rong ikat lang. No new ministries will come out. No new churches will be planted. No new ministries will be given birth. But when you stir one another up, no pale look at my bone. Hey brother, let's go! Come on, let's go! Oh, bang bang, brother, it's time to tear down the wall and tear down. Brother, it's time to rise up for the Lord. Come on! Oh, don't be like you. Ah, ah, pop, pop, lang hai. Sister, the Lord sees your heart. You're like Mary. Look, ne bang bang. Ah, dai chi ne ri ne ri. Ah, khen pua look ne bang bang nang. Find ways to stir one another up. Look, ne bang bang, rock with his sa. That's why churches need meetings like prayer meetings and leadership meetings. Yang hadir di sini hari kerum jenum terkaca jenub jenub dari kam piti adatan jenub dari kanong kam piti nak dengan nom. The people are challenged. The people are loved. The people are taught the word of God. And the leadership of the church released the people to the ministry of the world. Here's my question for you. When's the last time you intentionally stirred someone in this church? 
นขนมจีวัตบาลุกในบอมบอนในลุกในบอมบอนบอมพอจลนาในจัดแชชูลในขนมจีวัตนานามันเอง If you are still doing it keep on going keep stirring เราสนบาลุกในบอมบอนบานเพื่อการนั่งหายเจ้าบอมโตบอมพอจลนาในจัดแชชูลดอกเกสมรับประชาอมจ่ายังติดเท่า If you say pastor I'm not stirring anyone up because no one is stirring me up ระหายเจลุกในบอมบอนยังทั้งลุกหูเขียมาจังเลือกจะจัดเกย์จะมรุนจะจัดเกย์ได้ปัญญาเขียมกลุ่นไอ้นี่มันได้หนาเกย์มาเลือกจะจัดเขียมสั่ง This is what I encourage my church all the time นี่ไอ้เจ้าไว้เด็กเขียมเลือกจะจัดกรมจุนนมบอกเขียมรอดดอง We can't always wait for the pastor to do every aspect of the Bible before we show up ลูกเนี่ยบอกพ่อหน่อยยืงมันรุมปังรุ่งจำดอกหัวตาดอกครูของวิลทัวครุบกิจการต่างอ่านนั่งสั้น Because the word of God doesn't just belong to the pastor Amen ลูกในบอมปอนในปลุกเปรียบบรรทุกระบบพระองค์มันเหม็นสำหรับแต่ครูของเวลนุ่งเต้ You don't have to be a worship leader to sing worship to God ลูกในบอมปอนในยมมันจำไม่คลายเตยเจเนตดักนอมจำเรียงในตีนี้ดำไม่ถวายมังคุมร้องครูนายนุ่งเต้ Now in the church there are official functions that God places Ephesians 4 will show that right ลูกในบอมปอนในครองเปรียบของปีเอพิโซจำพวกบวนมาในเยมปีในครองกรมจำนมคือเมียนมนุ่งเซ็งเซ็งดำไม่บอมปิงกับการเงินนั่งให้ I'll share you one story and then we we'll go to ministry very quick. ย้มหนึ่งใจใจดอลุกในมองพอหนึ่งเรื่องมวยบรรทมาเยอะในอาทิตย์หัน You know there are people that always come to the church and some of them are broken. They cry at the altar. เมียนมนุษย์จิตชราอันเกี่ยมเอาขนมกรมจุนมให้เปย์คลายเนี่ยคลาคือดวงจิตบอกเกี่ยมันบักใบ Every now and then you would see someone in the church that you think maybe God can't even use that person. ภายเปย์คลาฮะยังมากรมอยู่นมยังเคยเนี่ยนมกดบะใบกดเมียนปังหาจานใบกระจังผัวอังสมัยบ้านสมัยไอ้ปลาเนี่ยนั่งบ้านได้ and you know it's the the craziest irony that I see happen in churches ยังเนี่ยมาพอดังไงเอาไว้เด็กเขียมเคยกามันละอ้อแต่การล้างนครกรมอยู่นมนู้ sometimes the one that seems that cannot be used can be actually most greatly used เนี่ยคลายังเมื่อเคยเนี่ยนั่งเอาโอ้มันอุ้มมันซ้ำแต่ปลาอังปลากอดอเมียนประพฤติอเมริกาบาปชรันนะ And sometimes the one that seems so gifted actually is destroyed. จุนการเนี่ยได้เมียนเมื่อตัวเด็กเกล้าอ๋อเกี่ยมเมียนจุ่มเนียงเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องในเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไรมาคือเกี่ยวกับบันเฟื่องกาเกี่ยวกับกายเฟื่องนู้นคือกระไร Big shot pastors, right? Hey, poor guy, do you see crew from Wales? Look, crew from Wales, that's the crew from Wales. Just bong, tama dong. And Jesus never once said to them, "You have great faith." Pray you see, God, that man, he just can poor guy, sir, don't ask, don't ask. Oh, no, I'm just sir, don't mean to move. Oh, charm and then. Instead, he said, "You have great faith to the centurion man." Wrong, mean to be told. The gun, need to hit. ได้มันเมนจีเนจูพระองค์เนาะจะตะกอดเมียนจุ่มเนื้อทมนา And Jesus said you have great faith to the lady who had a demon possessed daughter พระองค์มีเปรียบบรรทุลตะการสตรีได้เมียนบินยินอะไรหรือคือท่าในไอเมียนจุ่มเนื้อทมนา In church sometimes the most broken people can become the most powerful person in the Lord ในขนมกรมจุ่มนมจึงการเนี่ยได้บักใบในขนมกรมจุ่มนมมือเตยดูจีมันเจี๊ยบาเตยพระองค์ปราเนี่ยนั่ง I, I have someone in my church who is a gangster in the past. Gangster in the past. He means manu mane na krong krom jo nom robah yeng. Means mane atay ta phip robah kwat kwat je jeng kang. And he went to the prison many years, in and out of prison. Hai kwat nanga kuk jeng jo jeng jo krong kuk. And he told me, Pastor, if you knew me back then, you wouldn't like me. Kwat man prap him na luku ba luku dang him kau pi baman chanam mon score him pi baman chanam mon na luku nang man penchet man salang him te. And I told him, brother, don't worry. I also wouldn't dare know you, you know. But when he encountered God, God said, "Oh, you know, you can But when he encountered God, now he's going back to the prisons and preaching the gospel. And he's going to the Amen. Give the Lord praise. Amen. You know why? Because he or she who's forgiven much will love much. Dang mai te, ne dai min tu kum ho roi chan. Cot trai ca si cai so lan thom na dai mok pi prong. So I've talked a lot. Now it's time to respond to God. Da pe le yeng trai lai top te can prong hai. 
Now hear me, I want to give you some simple instructions and then we'll pursue God together, okay? We just shared four areas of personal revival. Some areas you might be stronger, some areas you might need more help from the Lord. But would you hear it one more time, the four areas? Do you need to revive your faith in Jesus alone? Do you need to revive your courage to stand for the Lord? Do you need to revive your zeal to win the lost? Or do you need to revive passion to build the church together? And so what we're going to do is we're going to open the altar for you. And it's not so much that the pastors have the power to change your life. But we just want to be open vessels for the Lord to speak through us to you. That's it. So here's what's going to happen. As we come up and we sing the song, as, as they come up and the worship yeah. sings, we are going to passionately pursue God for the next 10 15 minutes. I wish I had more time in the Old Testament there's one incredible scene in the Bible where the prophet was saying how he has offended God and how God's people have offended God and the people with one voice said we have sinned against God and the Bible was clear it said they wept bitterly but it's in the crying out to God and the seeking of the Lord that the Lord cleans our inside Restores our joy. Remember the first verse in Psalms? Remember the first verse? Will you revive us, O God? So that we can rejoice in you. You know, if it's a long time since you truly said, Lord, I'm so glad to know you. You need a revival. Lord, it's so long since I shared the gospel with someone else. You need a revival. You need a revival. So let's right now, come on, let's stand to our feet first. And as we sing this song, would you just come out to the front? We want to pray together. Would you just come out to the front?
friends, we are going to do two prayers. Two prayers. The first prayer is for Pastor Samadhi myself to lay hands and pray with you. And we want to give you time to just encounter the Lord. But the second prayer is so important. Please hear this. The second prayer is we're going to pray for one another. To stir one another to love and good works. Can we lift up our hands? Come on, lift up your hands. And let's take a few moments to cry out to God. Revive us, oh God. So ไอ้มีนกาพอพอลสาเจตทําไมไอ้มีนกําลังสาเจตทําไมพระตูบังคมไอ้มีนชีวิตสาเจตทําไมโอ้ฮาเลลูยาเรวิวัลลาโซกา
Friends, let's pray about our love for the lost. Bong Paul nói xong lực xong lấy lang hạ tư than. Xong rap Bong Paul mất phép sạch nhiệt bao dương. Đại ở toàn ban miền ở cả lưu đầm đằng lo. Tôi tuôn bỏ ông thôi chỉ bỏ ông xong luôn ở lại. Ạ tư than xong rap phụ cọt này lâu đi. Can you just think about a few people that you want to share the gospel with? Xong cất đón mà nu mà nẹ, pi nẹ được gọi bay nẹ. Đại dương chăng nom đầm đằng lo. Tôi cần quạt prap quạt ở cứ ở quạt xịt đây xong luôn để bỏ ông ban bắt đầu ơi. Lord, give us the courage. And the desire to share the gospel. Lord, we want to open our hearts and our mouths to them. And give them the life-giving water. Lord, use us, O God. Cause there to be fresh fire in our hearts. So that many will know Jesus. Friends, if you say, Lord, I want to have new zeal. ลูกเนี่ยบ่าวๆประสบบ่าวๆเจ้าคนจองมีจิตแช่ชูลคนมีจิตแต่จองน้อมตำแหน่งละอ้อนี่สาจิตทําไม I want you to once again lift up both hands to God สมเลิกใต้ล่างต้องการพระองค์ให้เรานี่ And you're going to take a few moments now to receive that charge from the God ให้สมกรรแต่ตัวตัวสมกรรแต่ตัวตัวกาจะบังโฮมบ่าวๆพระองค์ I speak this over you now prophetically The Lord is refreshing you. Giving you new strength. A fresh desire to share the love of God. And some of you, as your hands are lifted. The Lord is pouring His rain upon your hands. Can you sense it? Can you feel it? The Lord is firing your spirit. There's fire in your bones. So hear this from Jesus Himself. Go into all the world. And preach the gospel to every creature. Father, right now we pray that you are anointing many of us to do the work of the evangelist. How many of us want to see Cambodia? Become a Christian nation, Amen. Spend a few moments right now praying for Cambodia to come to Jesus. Come on. Cambodia can come to Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord give us strength to share the good news to them. Amen.
หายบองโปนเราจะลืมดังล้อตามเราจะลุกเนี่ยบองโปนต้องเอาคืนหายปอองหนึ่งปอนกำลังหนึ่งเพียบคลานเราลุกเนี่ยบองโปนต้องเอา We are gonna see mighty revivals in this land Amen เยอะหนึ่งเคยการพอพอลซาจิตไปกลางเงือบล้างซาจิตทำไมนอดมดังล้อบอกปอองน้อมตอดประจิตนี่ And all of you are gonna play an important role in shaping this Amen หายลุกเนี่ยบองโปนเมียนตุนนิตีสำคัญเมนเต้น Now, 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 just one final prayer from me. I want you to find one or two people, and you're gonna pray for them and stir them up to the holy of faith. Now, 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 now นับไปได้กูกุ้งเวลาติดทานจุดลกเนี่ยบอกพ่อโอนลกเนี่ยบอกพ่อโอนแม่รำท่าลกเนี่ยบอกพ่อโอนตัวตัวสิกได้สลาย But do you know that when the whole church prays for each other ปัจจัยลกเนี่ยบอกพ่อโอนดังไงนับไปได้กรมจุดนมตั้งมูลติดทานในเครือตะวันตะมอก The whole church can be on fire from the Lord คือกรมจุดนมตั้งมูลเชชูตั้งอักเนี่ย Your pastor is a wonderful man of God Pastor Samari wonderful man ลกกูกุ้งเวลกเนี่ยบอกพ่อโอนกูกุ้งเวลสามดีก็เจียมนู่นละอ้อเฮ้ But he's only one man ปัจจัยเจียมนู่นแต่เมเน่ And in this room, there are hundreds of us. So when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one another up, t h e a t h a n t s o when we stir one เราเป็นดันเนี่ยเชื่อบัตรจบจนที่นี่ให้ร่วมเจ็ดตุ่มนัดแต่มวยเราต้องเสกได้อัติทาน It shall be done กระจายต่างอ้อนู่นต่างบานสำหรับเจริญรุ่งเรืองเชื่อมันทาน So come on begin to pray for one another Amen 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 ต่อสมเด็จสมได้ลาอัติทานเอาเนี่ยตะวันจะบอก
ได้ซ้อมาอยู่ So many years, so many years, so many years ดวงจันทร์ยอม So many years, so many years ดวงจันทร์ยอม So many years, so many years มันแค่ดวงจันทร์ยอมถ้าใครซ้อมาอยู่ไปได้ในตัวบงกลมพระมิจฉาบองมันโตดเคยบองปูนบอกโกนต้องเอาขณีในนักนองบรรทุกนี่พระมิจฉาบองมันโตดเคยดวงเช็ดบอกบองปูนโกนได้กระปงตะตัวสนาตามเฟซบุ๊กบองได้พระมิจฉาไปได้ในตัวบงกลมพระไงบองโตดเคยตีจุ่มเร็วพระมิจฉาในดวงเช็ดบอกโกนบองไม่พร้อมตัวตะปองหนึ่งพระได้ใบกระหายอ้อมีนรุกจิตดอกลางวิ่งพระมิจฉาอ้อมีนเพียบสระสลายสาจิตทำไมพระมิจฉาไปได้ในตัวบงกลมพระมิจฉาคนปลอกกาในทั้งไงในพระมิจฉาให้อ้อเนตเดินเนยฮอตอ้อเนตเดินเนยนายนึ่งตัวตัวกำลังปกปีปองสาจิตทำไมพระมิจฉาให้โอ้ฮาเลลูยาไปได้ในตัวบงกลมพระมิจฉาคนปลอกกาพระมิจฉาให้ทำเมียนกาพระเอ่ยชี้พระมิจฉาให้ปีกรบรอกรบจังจุมงือรอกรบจังเมรุกพระมิจฉาคนประกาศพระมิจฉาทำเป็นการประอิจฉาปีกาชื่อจับเนียนีพระมิจฉาดังใบบอกผู้คนต้องอักเนียพระมิจฉาให้บรรเมียนสลิพิบบอกให้สมบัญชัยดวงชัดบอกคนต้องอักเนียพระมิจฉาเอาคลายตะจีแนะนอมซาในดมนังละอ้อบอกพระองค์พระมิจฉาลูกโปลกับบรรเมียนภาษาไทยตบขยมมันขมานังดมนังละอ้อดิลายพระมิจฉาให้ปีโปรดำนังรอได้เชื่อดำนังรอได้เมียนระเทียนอุเพียบเชื่อดำนังรอได้เมียนอ่อมนายเชื่อดำนังรอได้เมียนทำมาปูพระมิจฉาพระมิจฉาคนอธิษฐานสำหรับเพียบคลาหันก็มอยบองพระองค์คนนามวยเมียนเพียบเอียนขมานกรองใหญ่นกรองกาได้น้อมดำนังรอต่อกันเนี่ยต่อเตยอ่อยซอพระมิจฉาตัวอีตัววิญญาณไปได้กอดในเย่กอดหนึ่งเคยท่าดำนังรอได้กอดบันปรับต่อกันเกนุพระมิจฉาให้เชื่อดำนังละอ้อได้เมียนทามาโปลให้บำพลาบำปลายเกดอยครูนไอ้พระมิจฉาคนอ้อประคนตรงคนอธิษฐานในกรงเปลี่ยนเนียมพระมิจฉาพระเยซูคริสต์อาเมนฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยาสมพระองค์ปฏิญโพตอดลุกเนบองโพนตอกอคเนียยังจุบคเนียนสัปดาห์ไกล